Volcom wants to slurp up Intel. NVIDIA is gonna slurp up GPUs on our timeline. And Reese, can we just press F? for the 5800X 3D. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're gonna be going over the hottest tech news that I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast this Thursday, October 17th, 2024. Is, is that right by your mm -hmm. calculations? Yeah. For sure is. Well, you wanna calculate some things a little bit faster. You know how you usually do that. You overclock. That's the general idea. And Intel actually has a really handy tool on Windows that helps you to overclock a little bit better. It's called Extreme Tuning Utility, Extreme. also known as XTU. It's one of the programs that I use to become the back-to-back -back South African amateur overclocking champion, back with the 6700 and 7700K. I'd never heard that before. Well, you just got some knowledge dropped yeah. on you, bud. Anyways, the XTU uh, is coming out for version 10. They're going from 7.14 to 10. That's a big jump. Actually. It's like Pi, sort of, but not really. What's uh, going on I here? don't understand, but the 7.14 supports 14th gen and previous. The 10 version right now only supports the arrow-like processors. Uh, the okay. Core Ultra Series 2, as they're calling it, which is just horrible naming. Is this just like a weird software They're shifting division? it. Yeah, probably the new XTU 10.0 will likely uh, support the older platforms at some point, uh, but not right now. Yeah, so okay, there, it's distinct, yeah. especially because there's like architectural differences with air, like it's a whole thing. So that's how it is. I get it, but also I don't. Well, just like there are two different XTUs you might want to check out. There's uh, two different chairs you might want to check out. There's more actually, because uh, Fractal makes a few. But today's video sponsors Fractal. Believe it or not, I spend a lot of time on this set, whether I'm filming shorts or filming the hot news episode you're currently watching. And I'm doing it in today's sponsor, the Fractal Refined Gaming Chair. You may recognize this chair from the past several episodes, and that's because this is the official hot news chair. Available in both black and white, as well as padded fabric, mesh, and Alcantara, Fractal designed a comfortable and mighty stylish chair. Here at UFD Tech, we have both a black and white colorway in the mesh construction for breathable comfort while we're sitting here. Reese usually has his butt on this one, mine's on this. Michael, the resident desk and chair builder, was able to get both of these chairs together in under 40 minutes. Once you got your refined together, you can take a tour of all the features, which Fractal definitely did not hold back on. The armrests have four dimensions of adjustment. The headrest has a convenient sliding mechanism. The seat depth adjustment allows you to sit exactly how you like, and your back is fully supported with adjustable lumbar support. I'll say it again, the knob control on the back of the chair for the lumbar support is a really nice way to get the placement on your back just right. While you're sliding in and out of your desk, you'll also find that Fractal outfitted the Refine with some super quiet and gentle casters. We have hardwood floors in the new office, and these casters glide smoothly and quietly while also being nice and gentle on the floor. Much like everything else Fractal does, they've put together a great looking and super functional gaming chair. If you weren't lucky enough to win one of these as a prize on, from our charity stream at the end of September, you can buy one for yourself via the link in the description below. Huge thanks to Fractal for sponsoring this video and for being a part of our charity event. Well, Reese, just like you said, Qualcomm might not be done slurping Intel up, all right? Stay seated, preferably in a fact, fra calm down. Preferably in a fractal refined chair, okay? But reports are indicating, according to the sources that indicated that Qualcomm wanted to buy Intel, mm -hmm. they're still looking to do it. They just maybe want some political instability in the United States to smooth its way first. They're not looking to make an offer until the November 5th election here in the US. That was a wild intro to that, but mm -hmm. yeah, I who, get it. Who are you voting for? Me? Yeah. Uh, whichever candidate I can legally vote for, which is none of them. Whoa. Yeah. Wow. Whoa. Anyways, I don't know how valid this is. I don't trust that Qualcomm could get regulatory approval even under either administrations. Don't see it happening. I could be wrong. That's weird. Wider, weird. Wilder things have happened you're in my wrong. lifetime. <laughs> you're not wrong. So we'll see how that goes. And if you've been seeing how Airbnb has been going, people haven't been really been enjoying doing it. things. But they're launching a new way where you can have hosts who manage your properties. It wasn't this way before, except for it was. Everybody kind of had a management property that was mm -hmm. doing it. Uh, but now it's official and you can do it through the app and you can invite people to like co-host oh, with wow. you. I bring this up because like at one point, Airbnb was considered tech. Right, like it's an yeah. app. It's not yeah. like a, it's it's part of the tech sphere. That's why it gets lumped in. Yeah, and it, now they're doing things that they did a long time ago in the hush hush, but now in the for real real. And do you got any for real real deals? I got some. Where he's gonna deal you up. Welcome back to UFT Deals, bringing the hottest tech deals out on the internet. 
he's gonna do that, I'm gonna do this, we're getting some deals. First up, we have the Summer SM68, which is a wireless 65% hard swappable mechanical keyboard, only really $19.99. That's a beautiful color too, I love I that. I freaking love this thing. Like, I don't, I don't use Summer all that often, but as a project board or like your first one for your kid, holy cow. Wait, what's with you including mechanical keyboards every They've day? just been good ones. All right. There's just been good ones, I really like. I have been browsing mechanical keyboards, so I've been popping up a lot of these. This all tracks. And then next up, we have this NZXT H7 Flow compact mid tower case, which includes three case fans going for $79.99, making it $80 off. That's not the new one, but it's the older, it's the 2023, not the 2024. Yeah, it's what they're trying but to get it's rid nice. of I like it. I yeah. like it. I like building in the H7 Flows. Lastly, we have this Lexar NM790 SSD, being the four terabyte version, going for $236.34, making it $28.27 off. That's a lot of terabytes. That thing is terrifying. And hey, with that, the deals are done. You can find these and more linked in the video description down below. But until next time, I hand you off back to Brett for the rest of your hot news. There you go. Fixed it. Made it made it look good. You're welcome. And you know what Amazon's making look good? They're launching the first ever color Kindle. Why? I, I don't know. I some people might want it for like highlighting. I, uh, that's what I okay. saw in the demo products. And if you want to spend $280 for this, the Kindle ColorSoft now exists, which oh, it makes a little bit more sense. It does make sense. Especially for, I don't, I'm not going to buy it, but they also launched new Kindle Paperwhites and Kindle Scribes. It's actually the largest Kindle Paperwhite ever at seven inches. I will say I bought a Kindle Paperwhite a decade ago, yeah. still going strong. Yeah, my brother swears by his paper white. It's uh, it's been such a good purchase. I, I I bought it for like sixty dollars because I had a like a supreme coupon, and it has been it's been living. And I don't I don't treat it right. I don't charge it properly. <laughs> Sometimes I leave it on the charger for months at a time. Sometimes I leave it off the charger for months at a time, and it's it's, it's gone through it. It still holds up whenever I want to read. And what we're going through is that weird interim period. Be four GPUs come out, but you're kind of not going to buy anything that's out on the market it's right now. It's a little awkward. It's the awkward season. It's like when you're growing your hair out after a haircut. What are you trying to say? Nothing. That's brutal, dude. That hurts. Well, the RTX 50 series, we're getting some details on. Ow, man, that really is fun. <laughs> the 50 series, we got release timelines. The 5090 and 5080 are allegedly going to be unveiled and coming out in January. The 5070 and 5070 tie February. Fe fe uh, fe February. That one. And then a 50 60 50 60 tie would be March. It's a little stagger. Can you take it back, man? That just didn't. That didn't sit right with me. about me. Uh huh, sure. Yeah, and not... he's, he's feeling real, real, real sensitive about that. Well, you know, I might be sensitive because there's been a loss. We've lost something. Oh, yeah. The Ryzen 7 5800X3D. Honestly, one of the GOAT CPUs. It's something I could always recommend. End of life, not gonna be made anymore. This is something that I kinda knew was coming. You, if you've been looking for stock at all of the 5800X3D, mm -hmm. it's not been there. The 5700X3D has been the one going for like 230 to yeah. 250. And so that's made a lot of sense when people come into our live streams when we're building and they're asking, what CPU should I buy? And I'm usually like the 5700X3D is the one to get, even though people think of the 5800X 3D yeah, first. It's the default at this point. Yes, but it it's an end of life. It's only been out for a couple of years. It hasn't been around that long, but uh, 7800X 3D, not allegedly end of life, but also having some stock issues, especially mm -hmm. as people were disappointed with the 9000 series. Uh, we'll see if the 9800X 3D can resurrect some things. Who knows? And this kind of makes me sad. A little bit. You want to just shed one tear? Just, just a single one. But you know what else we're going to resurrect, Reese? Comment response. Over on YouTube, we got Keesler saying, wake up, babe, Ryzen AI Core Ultra 9 399K dropping. You heard it here first. Well, you're welcome. And then Sigma is saying, Amtel confirmed. And then Khan, this is literally an arm race. This ain't a scene, it's a arm race. Oh yeah, we got the sense of versions <laughs> in South Africa. And then Ollie saying, the last time Intel and AMD teamed up, we got an i7-8809G Intel CPU with AMD GPU. That was cool. It sort of was, it was never really that great. KB Lake G, I believe it was, it was KB Lake processor with Vega graphics. Not a lot released, support ended really early on. It was a cool idea. Yeah, it was. It was exciting at the was, time. Yeah, it was fun to see happen. Yes, but uh, I don't know if we can ever get back to the, those simpler times. And then Arouse Lamp saying, well, she, I got two SN770s in my PC. Thanks for the heads up. You're welcome. What is a lamp using a computer for? 
I don't know. Why they aroused? What's arousing the lamp? I also don't know. I don't need questions. to have answers to these questions. I just need to end hot news. See you tomorrow, I think.